I'm so happy and excited because finally, looking for a long time, I have received the DP63A with the radium dial. It's a dial and it has the paint slapped around it. The activity is biblically so radioactive that it's dangerous to work with. A combination of beta and gamma, it reads about nearly 10 millisieverts an hour. We are reading just gammas because most of the radiation is blocked by this thick glass. Already by this distance, you can see it's reading about five counts per second. Getting closer to the dial. Five hundred counts per second. Wow, so radioactive. Now we're going to be talking about radium and its safety precautions and st storing it. Radium emits alpha, beta, and gamma. Alpha particles consist of two protons and two neutrons. The charge of a proton has a plus 1e and the two neutrons, they have a charge and this is where it gets complicated. They have a charge but it's just zero and I will tell you now why. You know that the alpha particles consist of two protons and two neutrons. The protons have a positive charge of plus 1e and the two neutrons, they have a charge but it's zero. And now I'm going to explain why. The neutron charge of the quarks that is believed to be made up in the nucleons. And that's what scientists believe. They consist of two dan quark with a negative one third charge each and one up quark with a positive two third charge. And this is how it's been written. Up quark plus two third E and dan quark. Minus one third E. Alpha particles can be stored by paper, air, skin, hair, nails, and so on. They have a electrical charge of five MeV, and the velocity in vicinity of four percent the speed of light. Very fast, and they are identical to a helium atom, four two He. And the mass of the alpha particles is written here. What makes them dangerous is that if they are swallowed, because inside your organs, there are no protection. The mass, because they are so heavy and big, when they hit, they impact with full energy. And the detectability, because not most of the Gaga counters detect alpha, the very expensive one does. Now, this is where it gets a bit complicated. In school, you've been told that the structure of an atom consists of four things, neutron, proton, electron, and nucleus. Well, that's most of it true. In a proton, a neutron, Inside, there's the things called quarks. The proton has a two up and one down, and the neutron has a two down and one up. And they cancel each other out, becoming a charge of a zero. And here is your comparison. And this is the easiest form to explain why neutrons have a charge of a zero. The beta particles have a charge of a 
negative because they are electron emitted through the nucleus of an atom by going to decay into its final stable daughters. They can only be stopped by metal aluminium. No paper. And gamma are an electrical magnetic wave emitted through the nucleus of an atom and they can only be stopped by lead and sometimes several meters of concrete dependent upon the MEV of the energy emitted. What makes radium dangerous is because it emits lots and lots of radium gas it is easily contaminates absolutely everything it touches its humongous half-life of 1602 years and every microscopic paint dust that chips off the paint is extremely radioactive and now speaking about the radium what I hate about it is how much pain and suffering it caused to the radium girls and I would like to contribute some time and show you some pictures So by knowing what happened to radium girls, we got to respect and treat the radium because so sad what happened to them. But they learned also a lesson about it that we do not treat the radium as it's nothing. It's absolutely toxic and powerful. Sometimes storing it, I usually store it in this until I get a container for it so I can take the radium out. I throw in this bag to minimize the radon or dust, anything. It will be trapped, it'll be stored in a container with some lead. As I showed you last time, without the lead, it was 500 counts per second. I put this about 200 counts per second. This tells you that the gamma rays are so high in energy, but sometimes you can get higher reading. This is caused by breath and strong. And I will explain that to you right now. The breath and strong is a electromagnetic radiation produced by sudden slowing down or deflecting of a charged particles, especially electrons, passing through matter in the vicinity of strong electric fields of an atomic molecule and this is you can use lead anything I was working out the gamma rays energies with Benfen strong Compton scattering and Compton edge Got all the working out before scattering, it gets really complicated. So, you must follow my advice because I'm trying to explain and for people to work safely with radioactive material. It can be fun, but it can be very deadly sometimes. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Bye.